got something in the mail the other day. It's Zong Yi's new macro lens. They sent me a review copy, which delighted me for one simple reason, the focal length. Zong Yi's new lens is a 200mm one-to-one -one macro lens. Why am I so excited by that? One word, working distance. But I'm getting ahead of myself. My name's Joe, by the way. I'm a macro photographer, which means I take large images of tiny things. The lens came packaged very well, and it's an all metal construction, which makes it pretty heavy, but it's not any heavier than similar lenses, really. Even the lens hood and the tripod mount are all metal. It's a fully manual lens, and the aperture ring has a very subtle click to it. The price is about $500, and it's available in the Z, E, FX, and RF mounts. The lens I have here is the Z version. But what do I need this kind of lens for? I took it out into the field the other day for some real world testing so I can show you the three use cases I have for a telephoto macro lens. The first use case for a telephoto macro lens is staying out of the danger zone. There are quite a few bugs and also some spiders that just won't let you anywhere near them. For example, this little damsel fly which I found in the grass at the edge of a lake. I took the video with Zong Yi's new lens. As you can see here, the working distance you get at 200 millimeters is incredibly large. I'm well outside of the damselfly's danger zone, so it won't even notice me. And this kind of working distance is perfect for things like butterflies and hornets and dragonflies and a host of other bugs. At one-to-one -one magnification, the working distance of this lens is about 29 centimeters. That's 29 centimeters from the front of the lens to the subject you're shooting. And that working distance is what allowed me to get this photo. The second use case for a telephoto macro lens is reaching bugs and spiders in awkward places. For example, I found this beautiful furrow orb spider that decided to build her nest over the water, which is quite typical for them. But reaching that spider is nearly impossible because disturbing the grass around the web would also disturb the spider, causing it to move. Thanks to the reach that 200mm gives me, I'm still able to get a closer look at this spider. That's how I'm able to film her having breakfast and even take a picture.
The third use case for a telephoto macro lens is probably my favorite, taking pictures of insects in flight. I spotted some hoverflies in these flowers and I took some pictures of them. And I was very happy with how the lens performed here. The focus throw is just right for macro work and the focusing ring is nice and smooth. And from what I can see, the lens is pretty sharp, especially at f5.6 or f8. The color rendition and the contrast are nice too. So all in all, if you're in the market for a telephoto macro lens, you should definitely take a look at this lens. And if you're interested in macro photography, then maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you.